I bought a bunch of cars at the state auction here in Delaware over the past year or so. And these cars are pretty clean at the auction, right down to the engine bay being detailed. But regardless, one of the first things I do when I get those cars home is I take a disinfectant and I spray and wipe down the seats, the dash, the door handle, the shifter, really everything on the interior. But recently I decided to step up my cleaning game and I went out and bought an upholstery cleaner. And I was shocked the very first time I used this upholstery cleaner how much muck and grime and dirt I've been leaving behind when I was cleaning these cars. So I want to show you this cleaning process, how well it works, how it works, and why you too should get one of these to clean your cars as well. So this is what I got. It's a Bissell carpet cleaner. You have your clean water and your cleaning solution on this side. It vacuums out and dumps into the dirty side. It's a Pro Heat. This one was $100. There is an $80 version that does not heat up the water. On the back, you have your two cleaning attachments. You have your on-off switch and, of course, your plug. So I got this Caprice about six months ago, and I cleaned it like I always do. And the interior is pretty nice and clean. But I have a hunch by running this Bissell over the seats and the carpeting, I think I'm gonna pull out a lot of dirt that I haven't seen before. So let's get this thing plugged in, let's get it juiced up and give it a try. All right, so I got fresh water in the canister and I also put a few drops of dish detergent as well. The thing's not terribly loud, but I like to use hearing protection anyway. And what I'm gonna do is pre-treat the seats using the sprayer on the Bissell. I'm gonna come back with some cleaning solution and spray down the seats, let it sit for a few minutes, agitate it, and I'm gonna scrub and vacuum it up with the Bissell and let's see how it goes. a second spray of the cleaner I'm gonna do another scrubbing gonna do a real deep clean on this make sure it's as clean as it possibly can get and we'll let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll turn the bristle on and we'll agitate it and vacuum in this out and we'll see how it turns out when we're done Three more seats to go and let's see what kind of junk comes out of this dirty water canister. So there we go, spent about 45 minutes scrubbing and cleaning the interior on this car. I don't know why I chose a 95 degree day to do this. It wasn't my best decision of the day. This is the yuck that came out of the seats. Just disgusting mess. And the proof is right there in the pudding. So let's pour this out, take a look at it. What a disgusting mess, and I was sitting on that, and I swear these seats were clean. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you like to give it a thumbs up, share, whatever you want to do with it, I don't care. And catch you next time, and appreciate you watching. Thanks.